A lot of Texas high school athletes, they just dream of wearing UT's burnt orange. Yeah, Sentinel baseball player Rylan Gavon will get that opportunity next year on the Longhorn baseball team. Patrick Johnstone met with him today to catch up. I assume growing up, the dream is always to go to the University of Texas, right? Yes, sir. Ryland Galvan committed to the Longhorn program nearly three years ago, back in his freshman year. So what was that like for you during the recruiting process? I knew I wanted to go to the University of Texas since a very young age. I uh, idolized that program a lot, something I want to be a part of. On National Signing Day, Galvan officially signed an NLI to play baseball at UT. They were the first ones that really believed in my potential and my and my abilities on the field, so that's what really led to the early, early commitment. And it was a lot of weight lifted off my shoulders, of course, just being able to get that out of the way and just focus on playing and getting better. And then so last week you finally put pen to paper and make it official. What was that like for you? It was relieving, you know, knowing that all my hard work and dedication to this game since a very young age has like finally paid off. And it was kind of surreal just knowing that I'm going to be playing at the next level and at the school where I want to be at. You've got your senior year of baseball coming up. What are some things that you want to get accomplished before you graduate? Going to the uh, state semifinals last year and just coming up uh, short, I want to go back and you know win the state championship. Something that me and my boys talked about ever since we were, we were, we were very young and knowing that this group had that opportunity, and so I want to win a state championship. And in under a year, Galvan will head to Austin and officially become a Longhorn. I feel like I look good in burnt orange, so it's going to feel real good. Galvan can't start focusing on baseball season just yet. He and the Sinton football team still have their sights set on the state championship. They play Navarro this Friday at Texas State University. Reporting in Sinton, Patrick Johnstone, Chris 6 News.